fight commentary breakdowns. What we have here is a judo for Shui Jiao match. Shui Jiao is the Chinese wrestling. Judo is the one in the gi, of course, Japanese. Throw heavy, but real judo, ancient judo, had all the stuff that BJJ has. The Niwaza was very strong in ancient judo. So, but this guy probably just represents the current kind of throw heavy judo. Anyways, the referee needs to get the F out of the way of the camera. Judo guy went for a little sweep of the legs. Shui Jiao guy doing the same now. If you notice, the Shui Jiao, the they don't have sleeves, right? So he just tossed the Judo guy. The Shui Jiao guy, look at that. He doesn't have the long sleeves. So the Judo guy has less to grab, whereas the Shui Jiao guy can grab the sleeves of the Judo guy. So the Judo guy, outfit-wise, has a disadvantage. On top of that, he can grab the belt. There are certain throws and grips related to grabbing the belt of the judo guy. Shoujo actually, I, I take that back. Shoujo guy, it looks like he has a little belt too. So, but I don't know it's, if it's strong enough to do any grips or anything. Ooh. Oh! So the judo guy was trying to do a hip throw, but instead, the Shoujo guy took him down. So two points for Shoujo guy, zero points for judo. This is, I think this is the gym that Shu Xiaodong trains in because we've seen matches in the past that have taken place in this, but who knows? Okay, judo guy. I think um, I don't know if it's in the rules to go for the leg, but I think you need to go for the legs, man, because upper body wise, he's got more to grab. The shuijo guy has more to grab, so it doesn't make sense for the judo guy to. Oh no! Oh, judo guy. I don't think that was a clean takedown, so I don't think that's going to be given to the shuijo guy. I don't know. Right? If if both of them kind of land on the ground together, that's not considered. I could be wrong, guys. So. This is very unfair, man. It's basically like if a, a no-gi guy went up against a no-gi. Okay, a little sacrifice throw. All right. I think in judo rules, you get more points than him. That's why it's a sacrifice throw, because you're, you're giving him some points, but you get more points. I don't know. So, that was it. That was it. Oh, no. Is that all? Oh. Never mind. I think I can do one more. Okay, one more. Into the corner. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Judo guy gets another throw. So it's kind of like two, two to two. Oh, there's Xu Xiaodong. I was right, man. This is Xu Xiaodong's gym. That was Xu Xiaodong. So, all right. So, that was pretty cool. Um, For those of you watching, let me know what you saw, man. Do you agree with me that... In this match, the advantage, just by wardrobe, kind of goes for the Chinese Shui Jiao guy. Just because there's less of him to grab than the Judo guy. Like, he can grab, you see, he can grab the lapel, he can grab the sleeve, he can grab the belt if he wanted to. Although, it looks like he's okay just trying to control the head, right? You either control the head or you control the hips or control the armpit or something to do a throw. So, I do think this is unfair to the Judo guy, but... I mean, is that a fault of this guy? You know, he's maybe training for more realistic grappling situation. Like, you don't usually wear your gi. The person who wants to fight on the street is not going to wear a gi either, right? Just a thought. Whereas, like, this is what someone might wear on the street, right? On the street, you might wear a short sleeve, button up, might have pants. You might have pants. Of course you have pants. Now we see Xu Xiaodong here. So, guys, this was pretty cool, man. This was fight commentary breakdowns. What did you think? Talk to you guys soon. Boot.